Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to create a static single event listing page with Elementor. Okay, so previously in this channel, we talked about how to create a dynamic single event listing page with Elementor and we used custom elements to display certain values of that event into that page itself. But for that, we will require Elementor Pro. But for this guide or like this tutorial, we do not need Elementor Pro since we are creating a static uh, single event listing page and our WP Event Manager elements will be able to do that. Okay, so how to get started? Let's go to new page and we're gonna click on this edit with Elementor button. And then uh, we're gonna like, go to our WP Event Manager section. So if we scroll down, you will find the single event element over here that you can drag over here. And if you don't feel like uh, like to scrolling down, you can just search over here as well. If you type in single event, you will find the uh, single event element over here. So let's drop it over here and we're gonna configure that, okay? So only configuration required for the single event uh, element over here is a select event, okay? So over here, you can select what event you want to choose, uh, like or what event you want to show in this page itself. Okay. You will have a drop down with all the events uh, that's for like available in the website. So let's choose this tech job fair Berlin and you'll see like an exact replica of single event details page is being displayed over here. Okay. So what's the benefit of using uh, like uh, this uh, like Elementor UI instead of using a short code? Many people are not comfortable with short codes, specifically our non-coding community friends, okay? So Elementor serves a better way to handle uh, like WP Event Manager elements in the front-end side using uh, like Elementor Designer, okay? So no coding, nothing at all. You can just create a new page and go on with it using Elementor, okay? So this is showing the single event details over here. You can expect every functions over here to work just fine, right? And like if you wanna tweak the page over here, here that you can do as well but unfortunately you cannot modify this section over here it is handled by template files for that you need to modify those template files but then it's coming uh, towards a little bit advanced uh, like users but uh, we have a video where you can use Elementor Pro to customize this page over here the single event listing page uh, into a beautiful layout as per your taste okay so please look that up in this channel that's there you can leave like suggestions in the comment section as well over there right so let's modify this page a little bit i'm gonna go to settings and i'm gonna choose the page layout to let's say elementor full width so that will hide the title section the sidebar okay right here and now you can actually uh, like modify this page over here and uh, expect it to work just fine so let's add some basic elements right so this is the uh, layout I created for the demonstration, just for the demonstration actually. So what you can do, like what I'm trying to imply over here, you don't have to use the shortcode to create your uh, event, single event details page for um, event itself. Uh, that way you will require like short coding and all, but you can use Elementor to display or like list out one single event in the front end side and use custom elements to add elements or like characteristic to that page itself, okay? You can use Elementor's other elements in the website uh, alongside with the single event element that WP Event Manager provides, okay? So this being a video tutorial about how to display or create a static single event details page in the front end side using Elementor, okay? So come join me in our next video where we will talk about how to create uh, even listing summary page with Elementor as well, okay? And we will have a demonstration as well alongside with. So until next time, I'm Shah saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.